Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Icehawk, and today I've got some Killzone 3 gameplay for you. This is my first video from my new PlayStation 3. Uh, it's a pretty awesome system, I have to say. I've had an Xbox for a while now, I've had a Wii for a while now, but the PS3, it's a really great system. If you haven't bought one yet, and you're thinking about buying an Xbox or a PS3, if, unless you really, really, really want to play Halo, or really, really want to play Gears, then go for the PS3. I think overall, it's a better system. Uh, I think the 360 is better at some specifics, like uh, first-person shooters. I think Call of Duty on Xbox is a little bit better, but if you're playing, if you want to play a lot of PS3 exclusives, and there's only like maybe one Xbox exclusive exclusive you want to play, don't bother with the Xbox. Just go right for the PS3. The PS3 has Netflix, it has music, it has you know all the stuff the Xbox would have, and it has free online, which is awesome. I don't have to pay fifty dollars a year or sixty dollars a year online unless I want to I can do the PlayStation Plus thing which is pretty cool I'm actually thinking about doing that they get some pretty cool exclusives and stuff but enough about uh, PS3 I'd like to dive into Killzone 3 here this is an awesome game guys it's really amazing game the graphics are absolutely incredible as you can see this is just 720p by the way I've recorded in 720p so I can't um, res up the resolution the whole way up to 1080p which is what my, uh, my TV supports but it still looks absolutely insane in 720p and I don't think I've seen a game that looks better than this. I've completed probably around half of the uh, single player, and it is really amazing. If you think this looks good, single player looks even better. The textures, the just the atmosphere, the everything just looks incredible. And I'm sure you've heard this from you know a billion commentators, but it's just an incredible looking game, and it plays well too. I mean, the gameplay itself plays really well. Uh, the gunplay is very smooth. The controls get some getting used to. Because if you're a Call of Duty player, like I have a Call of Duty black background with some Halo as well. So when I first picked up this game, I was just dying all over the place because I couldn't uh, get it right. Like R1 on the PS3 controller is shoot. And on Call of Duty, it would be like on an Xbox controller, it would be kind of the equivalent to R2. So it really threw me off because I'm really used to Call of Duty 4 and Black Ops. But... Um, Despite the controls that you have to get used to, it's still great, and then just takes a couple games. I mean, it doesn't take that long to get used to it. And my reflexes have already increased just in this game, just from playing it. You know, you don't have to go out of your way to figure out the controls. Really. So, sort of similar to Call of Duty, you have these class loadouts, and in each one, you have these individual kind of specialties. So, just listing them off, it would be engineer, marksman, tactician, infiltrator, and field medic. Now, let's start with the engineer. The engineer kind of is the guy who goes around and fixes things. He fixes the ammo caches and, and stuff like that, and that helps your team get ammo, because you run out of ammo pretty freaking fast in this game, I have to say. If you're using an SMG especially with rapid, like, it has fast rate of fire, you'll run out of uh, ammo extremely quickly. Now, in this game, I'm using the medic, uh, or field medic class, and basically his job is to go around and heal everyone. Now, when you get, you get shot down, as you can see right there, you just kind of go into last stand, but you can't shoot or anything. So then your met team medic has to go over and heal you with a little laser thing. It's actually kind of cool. He like shoots you with like this little laser, and you appear, and I don't know, it's cool. And so yeah, that's his job. And you get 50 points for every single time you heal someone or revive them. And that's really useful because this game really isn't so much about KD as it is like it shows you their KD, but it's more about points, kind of like in uh, Crisis. Now the marksman is like the sniper, or the kind of like guy, like if you were to compare this to Halo, he'd be the guy with the DMR. So he's the guy with the single fire, uh, semi-automatic rifles, uh, whether it be a sniper rifle or something like a DMR. And he's just kind of like backing up everyone else. He's kind of a support guy. To be honest, he's probably my least favorite class right now. I'm pretty bad with him. To be honest, I can't really snipe, and I, I'm pretty bad with these single shots. As I go on this epic assassination spree which is awesome I love assassinations in this game you like stab him in the eye or stab him in the neck or cut his throat it's, it's pretty awesome so assassin in this assassinations in this game are cooler than in Halo Reach I have to say Halo Reach's assassinations are pretty sick but these are awesome because you look him right in the face and just but yeah anyway tactician he's like the SMG kind of guy or he's kind of like an all-around just like assault get to get in your face kill everyone so if you're a kill whore go for the tactician that's what I say that's the class I started off using and I um, 
He was my favorite at first, but right now, I think Infiltrator is my favorite, which is the next one up. Infiltrator, what they do is they kind of sneak behind enemy lines and stab everyone in the back. It's really sick. You have this special ability where you can change into an enemy player. Now, teammates can see you that you've changed into an enemy player, and enemies can only see that you changed into one of their people until they get real close. So by the time, by the time, by the time they get real close, you've already knifed them or you've already shot him at close range. So it's really useful for getting behind enemy lines and taking out like three, four guys at once. Now, I've actually gotten a triple kill using this ability. So if your teammates aren't that strong, they don't really know what they're doing, it's really useful just to go in and stab them. Oh, and right there, you saw that I destroyed that ammo cache. On your minimap, you can see that these red ammo caches are the enemies. The green ones are yours. Now, since you run out of ammo real fast, you want to capture as many of these ammo caches as you can. So you want to have one of your assault guys go in, destroy the enemy caches, and then have your engineer come in and repair it. And then once he repairs it, it'll come to your side. So you definitely want to have plenty of these on your side. I've had games where every single cache was the enemies, and we had no ammo, and we lost really bad. So as you can see, that you're picking up ammo, and you are vulnerable when you're picking up ammo. So uh, as you can see, it kind of goes into an animation where you just pick up the ammo. It also res resupplies your grenades. And here's a tip. When you start off the game, you start off with one grenade. If you go to an ammo cache right off the bat, you jump up to three immediately. So basically you can get up like two extra grenades like right off the bat. So that's really useful if you want some spawn uh, killing going on. And there I just slit his neck, it's pretty sick. Kill streak of five. So yeah, when you get five kill streaks and three kill streaks and stuff like that, there's no like kill streaks. You just get extra points as it as it goes on. So yeah, the infiltrator, definitely my favorite class. Field Medic is my second favorite class, which is I'm using here, and um, Tactician's probably my third favorite. The other ones I don't really use too much. The Engineer I use like once or twice, and I was like, eh, it's alright. It's not that great. But it, it was okay. So, in this game, the way the leveling up system works is kind of the same as Call of Duty. Um, you kind of gain uh, these points. And you can spend these points on abilities and guns and uh, weapons and any kind of weapons, grenades, pistols. Uh, because when you start out each class, you don't have a secondary pistol. Uh, you can only get one or a secondary weapon of any kind except your knife. And you can only get them through getting these points. And uh, these points, they're pretty scarce um, for the most part, I think. Um, it's not incredibly hard to get them. But you got to spend them wisely. you got to think ahead. you got to be like... Alright, so what's the best way to spend these points? Like, I don't want to just mess up, you know? Alright, so that's the end of the game, guys. We won. I got first place. I went like 23-8 and eight with a kill at the very end, which was okay. But anyway, peace out, guys. See you later.